Okay, we've got a nice little group here this morning. All right. I've got, I want to ask you about first. Have any of you ever worked in like, outside like in a garden? Planted something? Get down there with your hands? What happens to your hands when you plant something in the dirt and you cover it up? They get dirty. Get dirty hands. When you come into, your, come into the house, does your mom like that you got dirty hands? Oh, well, how you gonna, how you going to get rid of those dirty hands? You're going to knee like this. What's this? A bar of soap. What does it say? Dial. Dial soap. Standard good hand soap to get those hands clean. Okay. It's been a few days since you've had a bath or a shower. Now, not only may your fits be smelling a little bit, but what, what, what I bet your hair is like, your hair gets dirty? My hair gets dirty. It gets really bad when it gets dirty. It gets all greasy and ugly and yucky. I got to get it clean. But, you know, I don't use this. What do you use to get your hair clean? What kind of special kind of soap? What is that? Shampoo. Shampoo. That's a great way to get your hair clean. Okay. Do any of you like cooking? Done cooking? No? A little, a little bit? You do. Okay. What do you like to cook? Cookies. Cookies. All right. Have you ever heated up anything up on a stove, like in a pan? And sometimes, now this one's been clean, but sometimes they really get dirty, right? Greasy, stuff gets burned on. You kind of rub it there with your spatula or whatever, what knife or spoon, and it doesn't come off. How are you going to get it clean? Your dirty pan. Aha! I have a solution. Guess what? What is that? That's not a sponge. Touch it. What is it? What do you say? What did you say? Somebody said it. I know. It's, a, it's like a Brillo pad, like an SOS pad. It's a steel pad with soap in it. So I can rub it around in my hand and get it clean. All these different ways to get clean. Okay. I'm going to tell you about another thing this morning that we need to get clean. And that's that we need to get clean hearts. You ever hear that before? Clean heart? Your heart, you kind of think, what is, to get a clean heart, does that mean I got to go to surgery and you got to cut open my heart and clean it out? No. So we talk about a heart. We're not just talking about the organ in our chest. We're talking about, well, it's kind of like who we are as a person. And sometimes when our heart is not clean, this is what happens. Or it happens because, you know, we haven't done what we're supposed to do. We feel guilty. Or we feel ashamed. Or we want to run and hide when our parents show up. Or we, our heart is dirty when we feel sad. When we maybe fail the test. When we feel like our friends don't like us anymore. How do we get rid of a clean heart? Yes? Well, how do I get to feel happy? If I got all these really bad feelings, are you just telling me I got to work hard and feel happy? No. Guess what? That's why you guys are here this morning. We have a special gift for you to clean your hearts. And you're all going to have a way to participate in it. No. You come to church every Sunday. When we come to church at King of Glory, we always gather around that. What is that? What do we call it? That big table. The altar. We always gather. And what do we get from the altar? We get communion, right? If, who of you uh, are already receiving communion? 
Okay, you girls are over here. And you a couple, no, you're, oh, you are not real. Not yet. yet. Hey, come here, Hannah. Come up here. Come here. Come and stand right here, Hannah. Come here. What did we do yesterday when you and I met? We had class, didn't we? We sat and talked about your coming first communion. So you don't take communion. Some of you don't take communion yet, but all of you can come forward to receive the only thing that can make your hearts clean. And that's Jesus' love. So let's do that right now. I want all of you to come up here and kneel down at the communion rail. And when all of you do, whether you all get Jesus' good word like this, and I want you to listen very carefully, because this is the way you get a clean heart. I will say to you, Jesus says, you are mine. 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 that promise and your hearts are clean boys and girls just stay where you're at fold your hands bow your heads and let's talk to God this morning in our usual echo prayer good morning God thank you for cleaning our hearts with your love with your good word, with your promise. Help us always to believe it, to trust it, to make it our own, and cling to it every day of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.